Well, welcome back to uh, Old Ridge. Here, catch us busy. Two days on from last time, we finished. I uh, finished 14, playing 14. Tom has done the one he was on, which was 12. I can't remember if he's on North or South, but he's now doing the other part of it. And I'm just about to start <laughs> playing uh, 7. I think I might have gone the long way, yeah, it's this way. Should really start the other end, I suppose, but uh, yeah, I think we better start the other side. Let's try and do this somewhere near right. As you see, we actually started off by uh, gathering or having a straw to gather, but we decided shortly afterwards not to bother. No, what is See if we can get GPS sorted out for this. Yes, I'm using this plow again, it's quicker and easier. At least for me anyway. I think that will do actually. Uh, 3.1 I think we said before, so we quick carry on with that. There's nothing else there. No. Uh, new, what else is new? There we are. That'll do. If that's wrong, we can soon put it right. Because no, I still haven't got round to uh, put the proper key binding on my wheel for this. <coughs> Did I ever say I was uh, quick and got everything done? I should. If I did, I didn't mean it. Oh, it looks like we've got to go in one more. Oh, out to the edge one more. We may have to just go around the edge a bit on this, just to get everything. And I'm going to be going over the uh, plowed bits, no bad practice, of course. Alright, shall we bring you up to date with what happened? Well, there's been a bit more vandalism more. There's a bit more than vandalism up on the silver farm, though. They have been taking some fairly hefty bits, uh, Hammers that up there with them now, and uh, it seems that somebody is, is paying some heavies to uh, do it. At least that's what the word is, what the police seem, think, seem to think. They don't think it's uh, the local idiots, of which we have several, as just about everywhere, of course, but we have our share as well as everyone else. You know, we're going to do catch this later. I think I might do these ends before we really get caught in. Let's get this out here, drop the plow in and go up and down a few times, get a couple of three either end done. Yes, and Tom seems to be getting quieter and quieter. He's busy doing the other part. Well, out and we have uh, our unpaid help back again. Chris, as I asked him, or suggested if he would like to, he's keeping an eye on field 11 and he's noticed the weeds growing. As you know, it, it's our organic one. We can't put weed killer on it. So he's got the little steer. No, probably not what he really wanted to be driving, but uh, that's all we had left. We need the bigger ones for the plows. But he's got the little steer and the little springtime cultivator and just going over and cultivating that all up for us. Uh, just cultivating the seed and the weeds in. And we'll probably have to do it several times during the autumn and winter. And so I'd love to be able to put some green killer on, but uh, as soon as we do that, the Soil Association will knock us out of the uh, system, the organic system, uh, and it'll be our one thing we've got really going for us there will be gone. Um, I was going to cry, do one across anyway. We're, we're feeling as we go. 
This won't be the neatest bit of plow, but have you ever known me to plow neat? Have you never known me to do anything neat? Except drink me whiskey. That I do enjoy neat. Yes, yeah, that me. Let's get back to Tom. Eh? He's certainly getting quieter and quieter. And he keep he's hinting that towards he'd like some time off. Well, I can't see why he shouldn't. We're well on the way of plowing. All we've really got now is... Um, we're back up the here again. All we've really got now is the potatoes and the beet to lift. And I can do that on my own if necessary. Oh, oh I could actually, yeah. Uh, see what Chris is up to. But if he's... But as you know, he's got his own business to do. I can't keep taking away from that. Much as he might enjoy getting out of the office. I think that's why he does it. He wants to get away from the paperwork. I can't say I blame him. Uh, well, I'm glad we've got Paul now who can take care of the paperwork for us. It certainly took the weight off. Doors not moving. Background again. We just do this little bit around here. Get this end done. I don't know if we can actually plow this, if this will actually plow in or not. We're going to do another lot up and down here anyway. So. Now, this is not how to plow. I have never pretended to be able to plow, which is why I normally let the farm hands do it. But I decided I'd better do some because you begin to think I can't play at all. And anyway, that's a as an a, a comment away from this. Uh, you can see on here just how well the real terrain mod worked. It, it works. I I feel it's better than the what John's replaced it with in seventeen. If you look there, how much just leaning over the tractor once you get it into the furrow. Oh, well, shall we do one at the top and we can go and do a couple of bits the other end? Um, we do this and fill in. I know it's like going to start at the bottom end and do it properly. Forget it. Let's do it my normal haphazard style. Not going to be an exciting episode, but I think things are burning up. Well, Tom needs some time off, so I think I shall... Once this, the transition to the next part of the season kicks in, I think I shall give him a couple of weeks off and just let him do what he wishes for once. Well, for once, I say, everybody on this farm do what they wish, but the only one who don't is me. We will have a quick fly around in a moment and see what everybody else is up to. And yes, yeah, so it's a big bit up there we've got to do. We'll do that right at the end. <laughs> Unless I think different. But we're nicely into the meat of it now. We get into this part of the field. It's going to take quite a while to get done. Come on, that's it. Save game. Yes, I know some people don't use it. I always use it. I have had too many games ruined because the game has crashed at the wrong moment. I'm going to go down the side here, just try and put a headland in this side so we've got something to turn on. We're not quite as close to the hedge as so we are the other. But even so, I could do with plenty of room. Do with uh, tidying these edges up too, but... Uh, right, I'm going to do something, just close your eyes, because I shouldn't be doing this turn far too sharp for the plow, but... Uh, if you don't tell anybody, I won't. And I think we'll go across from here now. Now I was going to go across from here, but I think I'll just follow the line and follow the edge of the field and just get the edge, the definition of the field a bit better.
I always find, found it a great pity that there was never a follow-up to this map. There was talk about it, there was talk at the time of doing a soil mod ready one. This, well this is a has soil mod in. I added it in. And I don't think I've done too bad a job. Alright. You can't do that bit there. Oh, we've got this bit here to do, haven't we? We better go across and get this one done. Now, if I was doing this properly, I'd probably have half this field plowed by now, but uh, you know, probably and me don't really go together. Now, I'm recording this on Bank Holding Monday. It's a lovely day out there in East Anglia, a lot of the rest of other parts of Britain and the East Midlands and the Midlands have had a hell of a night and uh, yeah, they have had almost solid thunderstorms yesterday we here are basking in the sun oh. did, I, did I say I was in the in the best part of the country for well, uh, not where this uh, farm is set by the way not really certain where this is set it was never said I, I think this is just set anywhere in Britain right, let's drop that and then get this bit done and I think we'll just have a quick fly around and check the others are okay so you can see they are actually working that'll break the immersion a bit but so I just want to have a look at them just try and get to the end here yeah we didn't quite go in there would just like to be able to get rid of this uh, straw here right we'll go up here and come back down and then we'll have a look around and see what the other, others are up to. Oh no. It's such a difference between this and 17. Oh, as you may have seen, I think I've got it right. My supper for the weekend, which I just finished uh, rendering and uploading, will go live before this one goes live. So in that case I can say, you will perhaps have seen my run through of the different newbie farms. On 11, 13, 15 and 17. Yes, I, I have all of those. I only ever played 13, 15 and I think I played 17 a bit. Someone will tell me if I'm wrong. But I had the opportunity to get all the mods and I thought, why not indeed, sir? So we'll just go up to the top here, come back down, we should have enough head on this side to, to run through. Now, uh, a good mate, uh, Disco, was doing this because he'd be doing it properly. You don't get proper here. I try not to cheat too much. Well, I have been known to cheat. Just once or twice. I'll just go quiet while I'm just trying to manoeuvre this thing in. The trouble with this plow it d uh, and with the real terrain mod, it does tend to bottom into the soil a bit. It's not a brilliant play, but it it does the job here. I don't fancy using a 1.8 meter play personally. And this is I think I've set this to about 3.1 meters, which doesn't seem far out. This one's going to need some fertilizer on. Too late to put muck on there. We we'll have to put artificial on here. 
and actually see if we put some NPK on then then the next transition I think some PK on just to get that nitrogen levels up a, or get the fertilizer levels up a bit mother-in-law is getting rather excited well she's got this game called cut and crops she's, she's been playing it uh, it's a beta but she's playing it and quite happy but she's also now looking forward to the latest uh, farming simulator i think she said it's called I don't understand anything oops just lift it it's better so we can cross the edge let's see if i can get a little bit more of the straw might have to pick it up at the worst of the worst, but it should disappear in time. I think Decker built that into the uh, soil mod. Oh, yes, I sound about the uh, more vandalism up at the solar, uh, solar farm. They've got uh, security guards up there, the police are going up there now and again, but of course the police in 21st century Britain are short of manpower, uh, all through austerity cuts, can't help feeling that we're chucking the baby out with the bath water with this austerity, that could be just me. It seems that things are not getting better, they're getting worse, and we're, and we're just taking it. Oh well, come the revolution, brothers. Farmers will take over. Oh, it's, uh, it's the um, elections coming up. I think. Uh, just in the spring we have the parish elections then the year after we have the uh, district and I am going to stand in the district I have decided that uh, I th I'm feeling that if Tom stays with us and I hope he does he will be good enough to take over a lot of the work and I will have more time to spend trying to put the world to the right something I'd Try to do it with me live, at least in the pub. I always put the wells to rights. Then I fall over. You know, I s sell this strange falling over water in pubs. Well, I haven't been to the pub much just lately. Uh, where are we going? Oh yeah, here. Oh, we soon be on the long bits. A lot easier once we get onto the long St uh, straight bits. That's uh, so much easier. There we go. Uh, See, I'm not not hurrying this. Well, mind you, the play you can't hurry. You might I get a bit go a bit quicker with this big steer, but uh, I'm not taking that away from Tom at the moment. He's in a funny enough state as it is without taking this toy away from him. Oh look, we missed some. Oh, because that's where I've been playing around with the other things, right? This See where's our next intro? Come on, stop playing about. I think we've got the top and come down on the first straight bit, and then we'll see where we've got to fill in. Well, we know we've got a lot to fill in here. Now we we British farmers love our odd shaped fields. Well, we don't actually, but with 
not that much spare land about. It's the best we can do. We have to go with what we've got. I know I have Americans come over here and say, why don't you square the fields up? I point out that if we squared up, we'd lose half our acreage. Because there is no more land alongside most of these fields. And the local authority takes a dim food to plough the roads up. I can't understand why. Oh yeah, we've got quite a bit to do here. But we get that bit to my uh, right hand side sword out and we we broke the back of this field. Oh, and I keep promising we're going to have a look around the other, so I think we'd do that now. we just get to the end of this field. <sighs> you know, I, I get carried away. What's that you say? I should be carried away. In a hug me jacket by, white, by men in white coats? Possibly. Right, I'm just going to put the brake on. We? We'll just fly over and have a quick look and see what else has happened. And there's Chris, oh, he's getting on nicely, he's almost done this. But you can see ahead there's some weed growth, and he should be knocking this down nicely. It needs to be cultivated anyway, I'd, I'd normally go with a par harrow. But I thought I'd let Chris uh, loose with... This, um, this run, this tractor won't run the par harrow, that needs 200 horse, this thing needs about 100 horse. And the poor old steer produces about 114 horse. So it's, as you know, I have, I do use this thing. I run this thing a lot harder than it should be run. And I also got him to make certain there's nothing at all missed. I got him. I asked him to do it in a sort of three meter whip rather than a four meter. Well, let's see how Tom. Oh yeah, he's got a long way to go yet. You realise now just how big these fields are. Now, some people say, well, why don't you get a bigger plow? We had a bigger plow. I changed them a few years ago to, the, to about three metre mould board plows. That was just too awkward to get into the field and not keep running into the uh, hedges. These things you can just do, turn them around in the space we've got. Let's see what. Let's have a walk on the field. Yeah, need some moisture in here. That's going to be very low. Also, need some uh, fertilizer. Doesn't everywhere. Oh, right, we get back to our bit. Oh, by the way, mother has got her own fan club. <laughs> Apparently one of the guys she plays... Uh, is he loaded? Yeah, well, I call them young, young people. Uh, they're in the 50s, some of them. Some even older. Who actually suddenly start a fan club for mother-in-law. She is chuffed. It's all I'd be, but uh, I'm not likely to do you know, that. Certainly not online. I don't understand these computer things. It's amazing she does. She can't cook. Her housework, her housework is abysmal, but she knows her way around a computer. Her late husband used to reckon she didn't so much cook as produce a poison. I will say her daughter, my wife, is a very good cook indeed. And I have to say that I need my tea. Yes, what I shall do is I shall actually tell you now what I'm going to do here. I'm going to finish this up 
off screen hit if I can get a chance and we will go forward yet another growth period and will we be let's have a look hold on we got to put this other thing on here haven't we uh, no oh yeah there we are I'll we'll just get the Get the cab, so I don't keep blowing the horn every time I change it. I, I, I forgot how to use this overlay. It actually, it looks like we might have another two growing periods. We may be the winter before we're actually ready to uh, do that. Let's get rid of that anyway. That was a uh, Decker's Max uh, Min system for the maps Ma maxi map overlay it works I just forgot how to make it work I've got a lot to do up there right that out of the way let's get back in the cab is that up or down ah that's it it's down now right Uh, I was, and I will speak more on another video on this, but I was watching a lot of, well, a recording of a live stream from Dr. Sully, I missed the actual live stream. It wasn't personal, Duck, but he was making a lot of sense. Now, <laughs> Duck Sully and making sense don't always go together, but the, the once he was, and he was saying, we're we don't give the mods enough praise, the modders enough praise. He's right. We take it for granted. Well, I already blew me top a few times about what's happened to certain modders. There was Bullet Bill who was threatened, physically threatened, because he didn't get a mod out in time, or wasn't what someone wanted, or some rubbish like that. Uh, GTX Andy has almost packed up a while ago because of what is actually theft. People were stealing his mods and put them onto pay sites. I wish one of the reasons I don't use uh, I refuse to use craploader.net And he almost packed up, but no, because he's found a new home with who I think is are one of the best team of scripters and modders about. Only matched, in my personal opinion, by Realimus, and that's LS Modern Company. And, and they're right, we do not praise the modders enough. They have put a lot into this. They do it because they enjoy doing it not to make a fortune which they won't some come to the attention of giants and giants may offer them a job well that's something I was seeing the other day is about a quarter of the uh, developers working on at giants were picked up from the mod uh, uh, the mods the modders and I, I probably know one they uh, Reckon from uh, Realimus who, who had joined uh, Giants, he was offered a job with Giants, which he took. He should soon be, uh, he might be now working on 19. Hopefully, it's good news, but some interesting new bits and pieces. Uh, it's another excellent script, by the way. And he well deserves his chance. I look at scripts <coughs> and how the hell I do it, I don't know. And he reckons it's easy. <laughs> yes, well, he would, wouldn't he? <laughs> right, I think I'm gonna. I'm just about ready to pack up here. Uh, I think I bored you all rigid. 
You haven't seen that much being done. I'll we'll get to the end of this and start on it. Roll and we get a, another photo. And this, this tractor will want washing. I was going to say it wants washing badly, it doesn't want washing well. I'm a little bit of a pendant when it comes to the English, English language at times. <laughs> Much to my real was uh, displeasure. How can anybody be displeased with you, man? I hear your show. I do hear your show, that don't I? No, well, no, well, please yourselves. Yeah, I'm gonna finish. Well, don't go into hedge. I'm trying not to go into hedge at the moment. You might have noticed. I do that enough on this map. This map was made to work quite well with course play. Basically, because, uh, Disco enjoys playing with course play. Any world, any world. Let's go ahead and get a photo taken. Then we'll do the uh, close down. That should do. And that one. Oops. Thank you. Oh, I forgot to turn the, the lines off again. How one of these days I remember that. That should do nicely. Alright, let's get back in the cab. Get everything back again. Oh, and uh, look like Chris has finished. Well, that's good timing, isn't it? I won't get him to do the other half of 11 today. He can do that another day. But we'll, we'll go and have a quick look while they do the end credits. Once I get to the end here, I'll just get to the end, shut this one down, and we'll go and have a look and see what Chris has been up to, and see if we can criticise... Oh, I missed another bit there. Shut up. <laughs> oh, well, he has ran through the hedge, but I think we'll, we'll let him off that. Lucky Tom, don't run with the lights on. Especially on FS-15. Oh, let's get rid of that. That and that. And we'll just have a quick walk. Yeah, missed a bit here, but that's not unusual. But look, no weeds. Oh, I say no weeds. A couple already come up here. Just, just missed. I may have to just whip through that myself. But you know, apart from that, you've done a damn fine job. Anyway, with that, it's thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, please consider leaving a like. If you're not a subscriber, how about subscribing? Join the merry men. Hey, never know. If you subscribe and sort of comment enough and hint enough, you may well become part one of the characters in game. Most of the characters in game were originally real people. Chad at the vehicle store, the owner of the vehicle store. Yes, I haven't seen Chad for a long time. As I haven't seen Jordan, who's the uh, head of the repair department. Oh, this one ain't going to need doing just yet. We're all right there. It's a little bit here, but it's not too bad. So we leave that a little while longer. Oh, yes, um. What else I do? Oh, and one or two other people look at the real people. Shawnee B, who gets mentioned now and again. Um, BP, of course. Uh, Darren at the store. Darren, who has. Who, by the way, if you want a good map for 17, give uh, Willow River Farm a try. And if you want to see a bit more of it, you can watch my. Uh, museum series but i'm only playing on a very small part of the map it, but you will see a lot of the map because we we are traveling throughout it in that one and hunt for a oh, in the hunt for more machinery and other people always i can always find someone i promise one thing unless you really want to be you will not be a 
villain. Oh, and we've got the comedy aspect. I forgot the Stu who, uh, Stu and Phil who runs the local transport company who just work for us on here at times. All right. So, yes, so subscribe if you wish. Comment often and you may well become part of the uh, the map. Go down in history as we are increasing the number of episodes. And, by the way, I got it completely wrong last week. It's not 148, it's 174, I think it is. So I shan't be doing 150 special. Just checking, seven. At 17 when the flag started to move. I couldn't remember if it was 15 or 17 when they moved. Sorry, that's, 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 that's the word relevant. Anyway, uh, any comments, questions, queries, or anything else, feel free to post them. I read every one, and I attempt to answer every one. With that, it's me and saying, uh, cheerio for now. Cheerio.